Hey Cancer, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana and we're going to do something a little bit differently today. We are going to take an entire deck of cards and we are going to talk about them from start to finish. So Cancer, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can always hit me up at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to take this entire deck and we're going to do a real quick read and see what comes out for you, Cancer, okay? All right. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the Collective of Cancer with me today, and Cancer wants to know what's going on, Spirit. What is the 411? What is good with the Cancers today, Spirit? Spirit, the collective of Cancer is on my mind. Spirit, please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen in these cards in order to bring the collective of Cancer information about what's going on in their life and how they can handle it. Spirit, please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen in these cards. Please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, judgment, by which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them to Cancer in a way that the Cancers can apply to their lives. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle two more times, and I am going to pull from the top all the way through the deck. Please arrange yourself the way that you need to be seen. All right, Cancer, let's see what we got. Well, the Five of Swords, there is some conflict going on around you. Not just regular old conflict, but tension, loss, defeat, betrayal, and mind games. To the Nine of Pentacles, this directly affects your self-sufficiency. The Eight of Pentacles probably has to do with work. Yep, the Queen of Wands, success. The Six of Cups, it affects your home, your family. The Alchemist says to manifest which you will do while you contemplate in the Four of Swords. What are you contemplating? You're contemplating the Seven of Swords, the betrayal, the deception, deceit, shady behavior, somebody trying to get away with something, somebody doing something behind the scenes on the down low. To the Six of Pentacles, uh, this affects um, your prosperity. This is a tower moment for you, upheaval, chaos. To the Prince of Swords, because of some incoming communication. To the Temperance card, that is um, some incoming communication that you are just applying some temperance towards, right? You're just trying to absorb. The Princess of Cups says that this is a message about your success, your career. The King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, they're about success and career. To the Ace of Swords, some truth. To the Queen of Cups that hits you in your feels about an inevitable ending. Nine of Wands says that you feel defensive, paranoid, hesitant, self-protective. To the Six of Wands and the Hangman, you don't see a way that you can gain victory, progress, and success. The Eight of Wands says that there is an energetic shift happening in your life to the Two of Pentacles that you're trying to get control over, right? You're trying to get control, balance, prioritization. You're, trying, you're scrambling to the Seven of Cups. Lots of confusion. Illusion, too. You probably never saw this coming. To the Princess of Swords, now you have to formulate a plan. To the Three of Wands, trying to have some foresight. To the Three of Cups, trying to have some foresight. But there is stifled creativity going on here. You are unable to, to move forward forward because it's almost like your 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 strings have been cut and you're just flailing right 
like a like a kite that that you lose in the wind it's just spinning and going and going and going to the nine of cups this is all about you trying to regain your balance to provide comfort happiness and satisfaction in yourself and in your environment judgment card says that there was a decision that was made that leaves you in a state of confusion about how to move forward in your future. The Sun card comes in and says that that you you see things clearly. You have hopes of happiness, vitality, and success. The Star card says that you are reaching for hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in your life to the princess of wands this princess of wands is a, is is enthusiasm exploration discovery right to the king of swords this is you making a decision after much reflection and assessment after much contemplation and reevaluation you have decided with the 4 of pentacles No, you haven't decided. With much ref much assessment and reflection, much contemplation and reevaluation, in a state of lockdown, self-protective, insecure emotions to the Ace of Cups. You are trying to establish teamwork and collaboration with the Hierophant in a new job. Eight of Cups comes in and says that um, you, you are having a lot of disappointment in regards to forming a significant relationship in the sector of your career. Justice comes in and says that there is... There will be justice. There is justice. There's truth that is spoken to the seven of wands. However, you feel very challenged right now when it comes to ensuring the structure and the establishment of your life. Queen of Swords says that there's a decision that needs to be made about a new journey in your life. But you're filled with fear, confusion, and anxiety about what that could possibly be with the wheel what is this what is going to be the turning point here the hermit soul searching and introspection about how to bring harmony happiness and values alignment back into the home three of swords says that there has been some heartbreak some grief some sorrow and some pain the Five of Cups tells me that there is loss, regret, disappointment, and despair. The Chariot says that you must take action to ensure the abundance in your life and the life of others. You're ready to close out this cycle and start something new. You're ready to break free from the mental turmoil and the conflict Nine of Swords is where we get things done. This is a state of elevated anxiety and despair. But nevertheless, nines are about fruition, attainment, and conclusion, completion. So you are, you are preparing in the Knight of Swords to come out with a decision to execute. You are completing this cycle. Ace of Pentacles says you are going to manifest a brand new opportunity. Prince of Cups says that you are going to take actions on your feelings. Death says that you are putting an end to all of this and you are transforming into the energy of the King of Pentacles. Security, control, power, discipline, abundance, ambition, and success to the Queen of Pentacles to reestablish security and foundation in your home. The Ace of Wands, you're going to take inspired action. The King of Cups to the Six of Swords in your feels about the regretful but necessary transition that you've just gone through. 
but the Four of Wands comes in and says that you are headed towards manifesting a new financial opportunity that is going to bring stability, structure, and foundation. It's going to allow you to plan for your future as you make decisions to the Ten of Pentacles about what is in the best interest of your family. Ten of Wands says this has been a burden and a struggle, but there is accomplishment at the end. The High Priestess says to follow your intuition and have strength, Cancer. Release your limiting beliefs. Release your limiting beliefs. What was this first card? Yeah, conflict. Releasing your limiting beliefs, Cancer. This is telling you this is telling you that it's going to be okay. I know it's the devil card and everything, but it's going to be okay. You are going to manifest a new financial opportunity into your life, but the high priestess urges you to listen to your intuition and have strength because it's not going to be easy to release the limiting beliefs that you have. What are limiting beliefs? Limiting beliefs is or are what it is that we believe about ourselves or a situation around us. These beliefs limit our personal growth. It is um, the disparaging thoughts that we say to ourselves, right? It's the, you, you suck. You don't deserve better. You are getting what was coming to you. You are, you can't, you won't, you don't type of type of things right those are the disparaging thoughts that we tell ourselves those are limiting beliefs about ourselves that cap us from reaching the potential that we could reach and this being the last card in your deck preceded by strength in the high priestess is your message cancer it's your message your message is things are going to be okay is it going to be easy no, but you have to release your limiting beliefs in order to take the, the, the cap off so you can soar to your highest levels. So there you go, Cancer. That's your quickie read. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste.